Hello guys and girls, Commander PJ here and by now you know the Thargoids have invaded. It is all out war and they have taken over quite a lot of systems. We've got damaged bases, a lot of stuff going on. So what are we going to do as a very first initial run as soon as this happens? Well, I thought we should go right to the heart of a maelstrom. So this is a new, for those that don't know, uh, basically it's the arrival area for the Stargoids. So the Stargoids arrived, the whole area has been taken over. If you look at this, the map that I've got up in front of you, the galaxy map there, you'll see all the red icons showing that basically it's Thargoid controlled and they're going around taking over systems, destroying stations, etc, etc. And when I say destroyed, I mean as in you can't even dock on them. They're not just on fire, they are completely gone. But anyway, I divulge. So we are now going to go to or hopefully be able to get to the middle of a maelstrom. Now the maelstrom is supposedly a large gas cloud surrounding what is hidden away in the middle of it. However, as you will see, it's not as easy to get to one as you think. So I'm not too far away. I've got about eight to 10 jumps to do roughly. And um, it's not simple. All I can say is speed, not combat, is your friend on all of this. I got high predicted so many times I lost track. As soon as I entered the territory, which was classed as their territory now because obviously they've taken over it, immediately, bang, high predicted, knocked out of space, you know, which space, and you've got to run because you're not being chased by one Thargoid, you're being chased by multiple Thargoids. Have had as little as three and as many as five interceptors chasing me so don't hang around guys oh and don't rely on your guardian tech either because it's complete waste of time it's uh, not going to do you any good whatsoever in the occupied areas in the areas that are still in flux in balance where they're still humanity controlled yes they seem to work from what i've gathered but in the full-on areas that we're going to right now the heart of it if you like your guardian weapons are going to do you no good whatsoever as you can see even this is just an ax kitted uh, crate this has not got guardian tech on it throws all your systems to whack when all this sort of stuff starts happening and that is only the start bear in mind we haven't even got to where we're going yet my advice to you if you are going to try this is know that going in this is probably a full run you are probably going to be hitting that rebuy screen so don't take something too expensive with you yeah it's a case of keep your pips high for you know your your engines and stuff so keep it on three or four make sure you can boost 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 all the time get away from them don't even try and tackle them it's just not worth it if you're going to try and go and have a look at these yourself just make sure you've got enough for your rebuy or a few rebuys in fact and make sure your engines are ready to go try to not get hit by caustic missiles because the fire them at you quite a lot on the way in you sort of saw me there weaving around and dodging a lot that's because of the caustic missiles if you get hit by one and you're carrying decontamination limpets the problem is if you've got enough time to actually get your limpet going and get it decontaminated before they attack you again and here we go here's the maelstrom cloud or gas cloud for, from Tyrannis, which is the uh, the first Stargoid. It's really dense. Guys, it's like pea soup, I tell you. And it's sort of interferes with your systems. Everything goes a bit spazzy. And I actually felt like flight control was very mm, cloudy, very muddled. It wasn't straightforward. I couldn't keep the thing in a nice straight line, it was sort of all over the place and targeting was going on and off as you can see there systems are just having a bit of a fritz it does look absolutely beautiful though so it's worth going in a rather angry sort of fashion of looking beautiful i mean everything is red and as you can see there's these floating stargoid crystals knocking around yeah don't bump into one of these things and don't go too near it they jettison caustic gas that you've just seen happening there and if you bump into them they're a little bit like old mines that they used to put in the sea in world war ii in other words if you bump into one they explode and send you hurtling backwards 
So this one here, for example, I was having a bit of a close look with it and I clipped it. As soon as I clipped it, kaboom, you, the damage is immense. You know, it sends you back a long, long way. And you're going to hit the rebuy screen. So guys, you know what you're in for. Good luck. Thanks a lot for watching. And bye for now.